Hey, welcome back very much indeed. Uh, 22 minutes after 7 o'clock on this uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, Gordon Gebbard is my guest. He is the creator of a, a, a really interesting idea. Uh, Occupy versus Tea Party, living in the house. We're going to get into a little more specifics on that. But let me tell you the the, the, the crowdsourcing part of this. If uh, you go to kickstarter.com and just search for Occupy or Tea Party, you'll find it. Here's the thing I like about it. If they don't raise the money, all the money pledged immediately goes back to the people that pledged it. So if you pledge a dollar or a thousand dollars, it doesn't matter how much. If they don't get to that ten thousand dollar mark uh, by the twentieth, uh, basically the nineteenth of this month, then if you've pledged money, you get that money back. Uh, if they do raise enough money, of course, the point of that was to do that. Then they can make this project happen. I find it interesting, and in fact, uh, Gordon, you know, you write that uh, Chuck Woolery has reached out and says he would like to host this. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> I, I've, I've got to out that guy, though. I found out that he's a hardcore right-wing Republican, and I want to kick his ass, too. Yeah, I really want a uh, nonpartisan host for the show, but just to have a guy like Chuck Woolery that's in the industry uh, to come out and be interested in the show, so I, I, I struck a nerve with him. And, obviously. you know, and, and interestingly, Gordon, you've had a lot of people some that you you would be able to mention some that you wouldn't that are quite famous that have said to you hey dude if you get this off the ground you know you need to get back with me i'd like to do this well i got a homeboy uh right in detroit is uh ted nugent and i can mention his name he, that, that maniac <laughs> wants to be on occupy versus tea party obviously he wants to be on, on a network version of the show uh you know with a big budget but um but i Again, once again, I'm honored that you know I get I struck a nerve with these people, and they and they want to be on it, and they they love the concept of the show. I have Keith Emerson, and Emerson Lake and Palmer, um, and he wants to do the soundtrack. It's I'm a musician myself, but wearing the hat of producer and trying to create the show, I, I'd love to do the soundtrack to the show. But I, I but I'm going to bring in all my talented friends uh, to help and w- work with me with this. So give us an idea of uh, of if this show were. To- to be made what we would expect to see on a weekly basis. I had the dream show, the, the, you know, the, the one where the, a production company comes in, a big uh, with big money and and could make put this on A and E or whatever. Like I said, I wanted to do a Big Brother scenario and have a, a bunch of Occupy, a bunch of Tea Partiers in the same house and eliminate each other as they go down through the weeks. Um, I'll give you the short version with the with the little budget that I have is just to shoot the pilot, put it on the internet on YouTube. That's the purpose of the, of the uh, a ten thousand dollar budget that I'm working with. Well, yeah, I mean there are just certain realities, Gordon. We can't expect that for ten thousand dollars you're going to be able to do you know five episodes and uh, yeah, you know, some mini version of an entire season because that's just not realistic. That's not going to happen. No, like I said, from my journey from November to now, I've been in production companies where they're saying yes. We we you know, we could we could have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget for this, and that's when I was I was like wow this is great this is like my dream you know um, bring in the occupiers and tea partiers put them in the same house give them uh, politically based challenges like so like celebrity apprentice but with political based challenges and then uh, the winners of the challenges win immunity. <laughs> Uh, of not getting voted off the show, and and then I, I call it the great debate, and that's what the whole show focuses on is the debate between Occupy and Tea Party, and have them sit around and, and pick a hot political subject and have them debate, and you know have game show rules involved, and then uh, after the great debate, they vote each other off. I even have another segment called Share the Wealth, Steal the Wealth where they, they have opportunity to win money for their group. The details are very, very clever. I won't go into them. It has to be seen uh, to appreciate it. And then they vote each other off. And over a six-episode you know, six series, you'd have uh, six and six, five and five, and we'll actually get to the Chuck Woolery two and two. <laughs> and then uh, one Occupy and one Tea Party standing, the best debater, because they voted each other off the show. Uh, the audience chooses who uh, was the most impressive and wins the show. Well, I just think it's such a clever idea, and I really hope that, uh, that that it actually comes to fruition. I think this could be a lot of fun. 
you know, leading up to no matter what happens in November, we're going to have uh, either Barack Obama win or Mitt Romney win. It's going to be one or the other. Uh, that doesn't mean these arguments go away, Gordon. It doesn't mean that the Tea Party is going to go away. It doesn't mean that the liberals are going to go away or the occupiers because they're not going to go away. Everybody's still going to be there fighting for their point of view. So, um, you know, from a political perspective, you don't lose. Yeah, exactly. Uh, when I when I've been pitching this in meetings, they, they they said, "Oh, there's a time limit to to it. There's a oh, you know, please. An, an expiration date." And I said, "No, not really." And I said, "Well, I said give it a shot." Before the election is the prime time to have this show come out. September, October, November, the number one topic after this summer is, is going to be the election. And, and, that, and I see this show as a microcosm of the, of the discussion, of the, uh, of the kitchen table of, of America. And I think uh, as t- television junkies that America is, I think it would be the number one show that people will be discussing and watching. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, and we're just about out of time, Gordon. I think mm-hmm. two things will come out of this. And I'm being serious. I think two things will certainly come out of this, that it will we'll find out that we actually have much more in common than we ever realized, the two sides. I think that will happen. And number two, it will be it will be what people talk about on Monday morning if it's on Sunday night. I mean, yep. it will be what people talk about. Gordon, I really do want to wish you the best with this project. I love the idea. I'm glad we had a chance to visit this morning. Uh, you know, you can count on on me for a small donation uh, for sure. And I, I really hope that you guys work this out. Again, there is a deadline on this, folks, so I need you to go to kickstarter.com and either search for Occupy or Tea Party. It'll take you. It'll, again, there's a description there. There's a little video there. So, you know, Gordon gets to his little one-minute pitch uh, and if they don't, uh, what in the business call break escrow, if they don't uh, um, uh, get enough money into the coffers by the 20th of July, you will get your money back if you did indeed uh, throw some money at this project to become an executive producer. Gordon Gebert, thank you so much for being with us. Let us know what happens, would you please? Uh, Tony, absolutely. I profusely thank you.